Bueno, Sasa, Ata Nini, I want to ask you seriously, what is your outlook when you look at 2027? <laughs> <Yeah>? <laughs> what, what is your outlook? <laughs> <laughs> we are not saying anything, but I want you to go and sit and ask yourself, what is your outlook? You see? So, you know, when you, when you, you come to terms and realize, and you have to prepare accordingly, because the outlook is showing you something. Isn't it? So, uh, you guys, what is your outlook? So that we don't, eh? even in your outlook, is it that you are going to be the governor? <laughs> you know, it's, 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 he has won. Okay? He's there. But there are certain facts that now must make you come to terms with the reality. One, constitutionally, he cannot go for another term. Isn't it? But that does not preclude him from doing something else, or going to for another target. Okay? The same will hold for maybe some other uh, people, depending on what they think and what they say. So if you know that is the outlook, of what value is it if you continue fighting or teaching? <laughs> I mean, what, what, uh, what is the value? Isn't it? Yeah, so in our outlook, let's look at the national landscape and start asking ourselves, what do you think is the reality in terms of the political outlook? Uh, I don't want to say much, but I can say it. I mean, if... If the political outlook is that Ruto did not have the deep state, he did not have the system, he did not have the authority, eh? but he went and joined with the hustlers, and he defeated the system, and he defeated the deep state. Now, in your outlook, if he has the deep state, and he has the system, so what is your outlook? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so, so if, if we can now give ourselves that, then, let us adjust the way Mishmo Moko Milemba was saying uh, that uh, some, some, and there are some assaulting so that we also position ourselves as a community properly.